you know, it's easier to establish a physical connection with someone. Do you have advice on how someone can deepen a relationship past a physical connection? Well, the physical connection relates to, I suppose, chemistry, but chemistry isn't the same as deep attraction. Mm -hmm. And there in my programs, I teach an attraction formula that has four parts that create deep attraction. The first part is chemistry, which is the part you're talking about, that excitement, that physical connection, that animal attraction. The other three parts are perceived value, perceived challenge, and connection. Perceived value is about someone's perception of your value. Now we all have intrinsic value, but perceived value is super important. If someone doesn't perceive us to have value, they're not hiring us for their company. They're not wanting to be with us for a relationship. Or So we need ways of creating perceived value. And we can talk about this, but there are various, there are things you can do on a first date that create perceived value. Then there's perceived challenge, which is not giving all of your value up front. Just because you can cook a, a Michelin star meal, it doesn't mean that you do it for anybody who comes to your house, right? right. You, you, have to, you have to allow people to earn that value in your life and not give all of your value simply because you really like someone. That's a really dangerous thing to do. And one of the things I've said for years is don't invest in someone based on how much you like them. Invest in a person, person based on how much they invest in you. So if you feel someone investing, you give more value. But what you don't do is give all of your value to someone who's not respecting it. The irony is that if you give your value to someone who's not respecting it, there's no challenge and, the, and your perceived value actually drops. Because what someone says is, we've all had that feeling at some point in our lives where someone wanted to do too much for us too quickly, whether it's a romantic relationship or a friendship or, or anything. You, you're, it makes us suspicious. It, it makes us wonder what's going on. Why, am I, why are you doing so much for me? You barely know me. Why, how can you love me this much? How can you even like me this much? You barely know me. So what we conclude is that they must in some there must be some kind of desperation or some kind of strange agenda on their part that is the fuel behind this it's not it can't come from a genuine connection because we're not there yet so perceived challenge is understanding that just because you have a lot of value to give you have to be careful about how you give that value and then connection is uh, the extent to which you feel seen by someone and you truly see them. In order to have chemistry on a physical level, no one needs to really understand the other person. You don't need to be seen. You just need to think someone's hot and they think you're hot and you happen to have some kind of physical connection in that moment. But it's not the same as oh, I feel truly seen by this person. This person understands who I am. Maybe they understand my journey. Maybe they relate to my trauma. Maybe they relate to my worldview. Uh, I understand their values. I respect their values. I, you know, it's all of that stuff that makes us feel like, oh, I have a much more deeper, maybe even a soulful relationship with this person. So all four of those things have to be present for deep attraction. And the reason I like that model is because a lot of people who say, you know, I just, there was something physical and it was really fun, but then they just disappeared. Well, okay. There's also the possibility that they're just not ready for anything real, but we have to consider the possibility that one of those components of deep attraction weren't being fulfilled. And that's why it didn't continue. 
What's up guys, I just wanted to let you know briefly that I have a free guide if you haven't downloaded it yet that's very, very powerful. It's called The Nine Texts and it gives you nine specific text messages you can use to create attraction with someone you're seeing right now or would like to see. They're really, really easy to use. You can even make them your own, but once you read them, you'll understand why they work and then you can start applying them. Go to 9text.com to download that and you can be using it in the next 60 seconds.